we are done on the second half of the back of our land uh, the felt has been installed this morning right there you guys can see there's the chicken coop so what I'm gonna do I'll probably need I need at least one more but I might need two so we can put it right here where that uh, wooden fence or pallets at so that's gonna be uh, I'll probably make a door as well so we can go to this right side and let's look on the other side here this one as well I'm gonna put more felt right here because it's not gonna be enough uh, I don't mind getting uh, some pallets but uh, the pallets are really heavy and I got no room to uh, it's gonna be hard for just one person to transport it here so I'll probably just put the felt right here as well so once that's done we're good and let me show you here in the back area you guys can see here I left the uh, space right here what I'm gonna do probably gonna put a, a chicken wire on it an enclosure so if we need to go here to our back of our land we could so we'll put it right over here guys I'll leave uh, one as well right here on the right side so we can go outside of our land as well and same thing here as well we'll leave a small door opening put chicken wire on it so we can go to the left side of our land because so I do have some fruit trees there as well so if we need to water it I don't have to go all the way around so it's looking good let's go here outside and you guys can see how it looks like I know there's not gonna be any uh, how would they call that green Mojave uh, hopefully not green Mojave rattlesnake uh, they're probably uh, hibernating because it is cold but you never know uh, I don't want to get bitten by those snakes because those are very uh, venomous and for poisonous they're the most uh, toxic of all rattlesnakes so we're almost here on the other side show you guys there's our chicken coop raggedy chicken coop looking pretty good so just hopefully it will stay especially the wind the rain the sun everything here combined in the desert it's a silt fence three feet high 100 feet long There's the fire pit, unable to use it. It did rain, I got some wood right there. But uh, one of these days we will. Our plan here in our desert land is to be uh, self-sufficient. I'm gonna, we're going to uh, make this into like a food forest. We're gonna have a lot of fruits, vegetables as well. I already started uh, with all the fruit trees and trees here as well so we can provide some shades and all that but uh, yeah self-sufficient and food forest here in the desert guys we got our chickens so we're planning to get goats later on and uh, during springtime we'll plant some vegetables as well and the pond there hopefully we'll get that filled get the water fixed put a lot of water in there so we can 
have some fish as well. That's going to be next. The pallet woods. I'm going to put it up. Um, unfortunately, let me show you guys here. Because of the freeze, our fakes got uh, frozen. That's terrible. So hopefully uh, it'll survive. Crossing my fingers. Uh, I don't want it to die. Just like that one as well. It's terrible. Well, you know, I was expecting some plan to go ahead. And I really don't know it's going to be this, this cold. But, yeah. Green Giant and also the uh, palm are okay. The compor tree is okay. It's just the figs got really affected. Well, wish me luck, guys, that they'll survive. I installed a total of six more pallets today, uh, three on this side. And also here in front and also three more on that side so I'm gonna do it little by little every day until it's done so it's gonna look great it's gonna look nice once everything's done all the fence are up I'm thinking about putting a, uh, a gate here uh, I shouldn't want it low so six feet and also another six feet so that's a total of uh, 12 feet wide so that's gonna help a lot so but that's gonna, that's gonna be later though this is from the outside it's looking pretty good so far here's the front let's go there on the other side here's the front as well on the other side so let's go over here. Not bad here as well. I brought in my wife's uh, papaya that she has grown from seed. Oh, has uh, freeze damage as well. Well, hopefully being inside will benefit it and recover some of the oleander plants has uh, freeze damage as well green giant overbitey it's looking okay all of them figs are not doing well all of the figs are like this freeze damage Palm tree, pygmy palm is doing okay. The oleander is doing okay as well. They can tolerate the cold, freezing cold. Windmill palm is doing okay as well. Nice and green. I'm devastated. All my figs looks like this. Terrible. The apricot is doing okay as well. It's shedding its leaves already. All two of my persimmon trees are like this. Freeze damage. Crossing my fingers that uh, they'll regrow and they'll be okay. And here's the mandarin, the poor mandarin. It didn't get frozen, so it's okay. Our Fuji apple looks okay. I'm glad it didn't get the uh, freeze damage. Our cactus is okay. Well, they do thrive in the desert, so it's looking good. This one's doing good as well. That's our barrel cactus. 
And this is the old man cactus that was in front before. It used to be taller, but uh, rodents ate the bottom uh, part of it. So I made a cutting out of it. So it's been months. So it's doing okay. On the previous video, I mentioned about animals going here. You know, like coyotes, rabbits, stray dogs and all that and guess what i woke up this morning look outside and there's at least two dogs one big dog and one smaller ones so i gotta get this done i know they can still go here once it's done but it's gonna limit them or uh, deter them from going inside because they're gonna have a hard time going out so I've got a few more, do it every day until it's done. Few, a uh, few more on this side. I'm done, I'm gonna be done with the pallets. I'm gonna get more uh, silt, felt, and I'm good. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, Romy from Solid Gold Shows.